Welcome to Walking Shakespeare's London. I'm Louise Burns. I'm a faculty member with Arcadia University. I wanted to bring you into central London for a bit of a walkabout uh, to give you an idea of what it might have been like to be in Shakespeare's London through his eyes. Shakespeare would have come across the St. Paul's that dominated the skyline. Cheapside, where St. Paul stands today, at the time, this would have been London's high street. Uh, it really means marketplace in Old English. And in fact, when Queen Elizabeth I was coronated, she would have passed through here. What you hear behind me now are cars and buses, and I can see quite a few crowds of people walking around. That's the sort of atmosphere that Shakespeare would have come across when he was here as well. I have walked not far from St. Paul's to the Thames. Now, I cannot overestimate how important Thames River was to Shakespeare's Elizabethan and Jacobean world. This river was very much the heart of London. A foul and pestilent congregation of vapors hammered on what it is to be a man. And here I am on the bank side, right, the stink of animal, human, nobody washed, no mouth rinsed. But behind me, you have the reconstructed low here. The Shakespeare mural behind me, painted by Jimmy C, a street artist, um, is a lovely reference to this area of Southwark where I'm standing, where Shakespeare is believed to have lived. The story of Shakespeare, the story of Elizabethan and Jacobi in London, they're always in flux, because as we tell one story, so another story is hidden, and it's our job to try and find those hidden stories and make sense of them, and work out the myths from them. 